All right, are you guys ready? Make sure you have your sheet right in front of you. I'm gonna write a word on the whiteboard and hold it up to the screen. If you think you know what it is, use the raise your hand button. I might go in order, but I might not go in order. It's gonna be a surprise. All right, first word. One, two, three. Ooh, quick. Sophia. I. Nice job. I. All right. Next word. One, two, three. Deleza. Good job, Deleza. The. One, two, three. Sander. My. My. Nice job, Xander. One, two, three. Kieran. Little. Good job, Kieran. One, two, three. Aaron. Look. Look. Nice job, Mickey Aaron. Look house. Come inside, it's fun inside. So just click the button one time, Cadence. One, two, three. Mason. In. In. Good job. One, two, three. Wait, wait until I call on someone. Who who uh, helped me out with that one? Was that you, uh, Nicholas? That was Mason. Oh, thank you. All right. This one is for Nicholas. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Nice job. All right, we're going to practice those again uh, tomorrow, so make sure you have your paper ready, and if you would like to help me out with the word, you're going to raise your hand. Okay, so first grade, we're going to come back to our reading skill of the day, and that is take the ending off. And you might be wondering why I have this part of it a different color. The word ending has an ending that we can take off. So sometimes when we come to words that are really long, we can take parts of the word off, figure out what that word is that we know in a snap, and then put the ending on. So, step one, cover the ending. So I drew a picture here of a hand, and it's covering the end of a word. We can see part of this word here. Who knows what just this part of the word is? Go ahead and use the raise your hand button. Who knows my word here? Xander. Sing. Sing. Nice job. So if I have the word sing, and I'm trying to figure out the whole word, step two is going to be read the whole word. So if I have my whole word showing, and I looked at this part and I said, I've seen that word before, I know that part. We just slide through, 
until we see the whole word. So who can tell me what just this part of my word would say? I'll show you what it looks like on a whiteboard. Who has seen this ending on a word? Bracket, can you tell me this ending? Ing. Nice job, Bracket. So, on our words that we see throughout our storybooks, they might have an ending like that. And so if we don't quite know what that is, we're just going to cover up that ending part and say the word that we know already. It's not always the ing, though. Sometimes we see er. Sometimes we see ed, or d, or t. There's three different sounds that this part can make. So if it's a tricky word, but you recognize the front of it, just cover up the end, say the part you know, and then slide your hand off and finish the word. We're going to go through some examples, okay? So these look like super long and tricky words, but what we're going to do right now, boys and girls, is take off the part at the end, practice saying that word, and then we can just put that part back on. So I'm going to underline the part that we're going to be covering up, okay? Do you remember the ing that I showed you? This is the part we're going to cover up. Once I cover it up, I would like you to raise your hand and help me with just the beginning. And I brought some sticky notes to make it a little easier. So we're just going to cover up this part right here. Who can tell me just this word? Um, Aaron. Aaron, can you tell me just this part of the word? Try. Try. So if I'm reading a story and I see try, maybe yeah. they're, um, maybe it's a story about getting better at something and they say try again, don't give up, keep trying. This part of the word I'm taking off. We've been practicing this end here. So now that I know that it says try, I'm going to uncover it and see my ending part. Try ing. So together, my word is trying. Let's do the next one. Here's the part I'm going to cover. If you know the beginning of the word, raise your hand. Ooh. Liam, I would like you to try this part. Just say the beginning. Play. If I were to see right here, ing, ing, play, ing, all together, Sophia. It says playing, playing. Nice job. And I know the other one too. This next one. Yeah. So we're gonna cover up the end of this long tricky word, and if you know this word. Raise your hand. Jose, I'm going to have you um, practicing this word with me, okay? Can I have you on mute? All right, Jose, let's cover up the first part and chunk it into pieces. S Sn o wa your turn. Sn o wa Sn o Good job. Say it a little bit faster. No. Good job, Jose. Jose, I heard you say. Snow, s 
snow. So once we know the word snow, and we want to just put this piece on at the end, we can learn this long, tricky word. Who thinks they know this long, tricky word all together? I see Kieran raising his hand. What's my long, tricky word, Kieran? Snowing. Snowing. Nice job, Kieran. Snowing. Snowing. So on this category, we were talking about the ending I-N-G. Over here, I don't have that ending. I want to practice now with E-R. And when we say E-R, we say er. I want you guys to try that. Er. So, I'm going to go back and check my steps. Step one, cover the ending. Step two, read the whole word. So before I even start guessing, I want to cover up this ending, okay? Once I cover up my ending, what's that word? We've seen this word a lot. Who can help me out? Alakai. What is yeah. this word? Uh, I don't know. Let's sound it out together, okay? Remember, when we are when we're practicing reading together, Alakai, we need to try all of those different strategies we've been practicing. So, let's try the strategy of sectioning it out by pieces. So, we're just going to slide and if we need to stop and think, did that make sense? Does it sound like reading? Then we're going to try it, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. First sound? R and R says R And then what does this letter say? Um, D. D, and it says? Um, e. D. Your turn. D. That's okay. I'm a, I want you to watch how I model it, and then I want you to try, okay? Read. Your turn. Read. 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 Good job. So I have my first part of my word that I know, and it says read. Now, remember, the ending is going to be different. It's not going to say ing, it's going to say r, er, er. So when I uncover, I want you to put this word plus this word. Are you okay? Read. I want you guys to try it. Read. Who can help me out with this word? Liam. Go ahead and unmute Liam. So we had read, read, er. Reader? Reader. Nice job. So, this would be like um, when we sit down and read together, you guys are all readers. So, if we know read, and we know that the ending is coming up, that we're covering it up, we're going to section it into two pieces. Read, er. Nice job. Oh, I have one more. We tried playing. What if we tried a different ending for play? This time, I'm going to try this ending. So, first part of my word is play, but I'm going to have a different ending. If you know what it is, raise your hand. Ooh, I see six people raising their hand. Nicholas. I had playing, now I have play, 
Player. Good job, Nicholas. He knew that one in a snap. Player. Player. So do you see that if we just take off those endings of words and leave just the part that we know, we can just snap them back onto the end and read it as smooth as we can. It's always okay to keep trying if it doesn't make sense. All right. So before we go into uh, our reading groups, I want to read a couple of pages to you from a Piggy and Gerald book I have. If you see a word that you recognize and it might have these kind of strange endings on them, I want you to help me out with saying the word. Okay. It's called Let's Go for a Drive by Mo Willems. Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. That sounds fun. Drive, drive, drivey, drive, drive. Wait. If we are... G uh, eh. This is a word that I need to take apart boys and girls, to help me figure out what the whole word is, okay? So I'm going to write it up here, and I would like your help for taking apart the end and seeing if it makes sense. So my word in the book has this ing at the end. So first thing you want to do is cover it up, then I can add it back on to get some help with that word, okay? Going. Oh, make sure we're taking turns with raising our hand and using mute. Mason, can I have you unmute and just tell me this part? Go. Nice job. I have this ending here, ing, so now I just need to stick it together. Going. Going. Nice job. Let's see if it makes sense in the story. That's always another good strategy to use. If we are going on a drive, oh, that sounded good. We need a plan. A plan? First, we need a map. I have a map. Get that map. cannot go for a drive without a map. I have the map. Wait, it might be sunny while we drive. We need glasses. I have sunglasses. Get those sunglasses. Ooh, this is a really, really long word. I want to write it on the board and see if I can take off the ending and figure out what this word is, okay? Remember how we talked about ing saying ing, boys and girls? Take a look at this word. This is like one of those bonus super tricky words. Who can help me out with just this part of the word? Remember, ing is ing. So we have a blend here to say, and then we have ing, but then we have another secret part under here. Eli, I would like your help, okay? Go ahead and get your mouth ready. We're going to sound out this word. I have my blend. Okay. Okay, here we go, Eli. B, 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 R, R. But we wouldn't say B, R. When we put it together, we say Burr. Nice job. Burr. 
What does bird. ing say? Bird. ing says ing. What does ing say? ing says ing. What does it say? Ing. Ing. Nice job. Okay. Brr. Uh, ing. Ring. Good job, Eli. So here's the front part of my word. Yes. Now I know what where ing says ing. Now watch what happens. We have bring. What does ing say? Ring. Ing. Ing. Bring ing. What's my word? Bringing. So let's go back to the story and see if that made sense. Bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. I have the sunglasses. Bringing. We have the double ing in this word, but we were able to figure it out because we just took off that end part, said the part that we knew, and then pushed it right back on there. So. As you are reading your books, boys and girls, I was going to have us break into groups for our storybooks, but we're running out of time. So what we're going to do today is first you're going to hear me read the story. We're going to, we're not going into breakout rooms. We're all going to stay together, but I'm going to read this story and see if there are any tricky words I need to take apart to remove the ending of it and then keep reading. And then Miss Cheatham is going to read hers. Okay. So first you'll see me reading, and then you will see Miss Cheatham reading. I looked everywhere. You know what I just noticed? Let me get my marker. I see the word looked. Now, we did our practice words this morning when I held them up on the whiteboard. And I think Aaron had this word, if I remember right. What was this word, Aaron? Looking. Look. It says look. Then we have the ending here. And remember how we talked about ed? Sometimes it says ed. Sometimes it says d. And sometimes it says t. So when we're practicing those sounds, we need to see which one sounds best. Looked. Looked. Or looked. Looked. Nice job, boys and girls. I looked everywhere. Did you look for your shoe? I looked everywhere. My shoe is not there. Did you look under the bed? I looked everywhere. My shoe is not there. That word looked is in here a lot. That's, that word can really help us understand this story. Did you look in your toy box? I looked everywhere. My shoe is not there. Did you look in your closet? I heard uh, one of our things. Which one did you hear? Uh, Which one, Liam? I think you said in. In. Nice job, Liam. It was in. You found it. That is such good reading. Thank you for helping me out. So she asks, did you look in your closet? Oh no, I did not look everywhere. I did not look there. Um, I heard I. I, nice job. Boys and girls, that makes me so happy that while we are reading, I heard not. you guys are finding all of these words. So keep practicing these. And as you find them in your books that we send home, that is showing us that you are understanding that story so much better. Thank you guys so much for your help. Yes. 
So, Miss Cheatham, can I have you spotlight your video and read your book? And let's see if we can find any of those tricky words where we have to take the ending off. Yes. Yes. I'm going to pin your video. There we go. Who has it? I have it. You have it. He has it. She has it. They have it. We have it. They. The dog has it. Ooh. Boys and girls, if you heard a word from our list that we've been practicing, will you raise your hand? Say. Oh, make sure you raise your hand, please. Were there any words from that story that we practice in the mornings before reading? Xander, what word did you hear? Um, who? Can you say it again? Who? Who? That word's not on our list, but it's going to be soon. Nice job. Sophia, did you find a word? The. The. Nice job. Satan, did you find a word? I found one. Um. I. I. Nice job. Capital I. I got one. Yes, Liam. The and it. The and it. It isn't quite on here, but it's going to be on the next set that I send home. But nice job finding that word, because that's a word we know in a snap. Bracket, last one. Did you find a word, Bracket? Um, my hand was raised because I was going to say I, but then Liam said it, so I forgot to repeat. That's okay. I'm super happy you guys are able to spot those words out. So this week, I will make sure that after our mini lesson, we have time to break out into our groups and we can practice saying those tricky words, okay? It's super cool that you guys were able to find um, these words that we're practicing built into these longer words. And then you also were able to pick out those words that we've been practicing on our flashcards. You guys found those so quick in the books, I didn't even have to ask you. You just said, oh, there's it, there's I. So that is showing me, boys and girls, that you are understanding how the process of reading is going. You guys are super readers, and it makes my heart so